Hello and welcome to Math Illustrations Basic Tutorial 1 presented by Saltier Software. My name is Audrey and today I'm going to be walking you through some of the basics of this program. When you first open up Math Illustrations, you'll notice you have this big white space. That's your canvas where you'll create your figures. Up at the top you have an icon bar, various thing, buttons you can use, save all of your basics, zoom, and then to your right, you'll see you have a bunch of toolboxes. And these might not look the same as yours. In a later video, we're going to be going over how you can customize the appearance of math illustrations. But today we're going to be just using the draw and the annotate toolbox. The draw toolbox is all of your tools to draw geometric figures, lines, circles, ellipses, parabola, polygons, we're going to be using the line segment, this button right there, to create a basic shape and label it. So you click and drag for a line segment and it will automatically label the points for you. To connect to line segments, you simply hover over a previously created line or point until it's highlighted like so, and you click and drag again, and this connects them together. We'll do that one more time and create a basic triangle. If we go back up to the draw toolbox and hit our select tool, we can move this around simply by clicking and dragging the point or the line. Now let's add some labels to this. To add a label, you need to highlight a point or a line by clicking on it like that. And you can see over in the toolbox you now have things you can do with with the buttons. We're going to be using the annotate and let's use the distance and length. And this creates a nice label for us. Let's call this 5. And let's do another one. So we'll click this line to its highlight and use the distance and length, we'll call this 6. These labels don't have any effect on the geometry, so you can still move everything around as you want it. These, you can also change these labels simply by double-clicking and changing it. Or if you want, you can just completely delete these labels. So if you click on it and highlight it, hit delete. You can delete them that way. And you have all of your same shortcut keys that you're probably familiar with in Word documents. So if you hold Control and hit Z, that's your undo button. So you can undo any mistakes that you may have created. You can also label angles. And you can do this by holding Control and selecting two lines. Going up to your annotate and hitting the angle button. And that's your basics for creating and labeling a shape in math illustrations. My name is Audrey, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. If you're interested in this program, you can get more information by visiting the website at www.mathillustrations.com or by simply clicking the link below. Thanks for watching.